Welcome back to JME Wrestling. I am Michaela, and we're doing Style Sunday, but it's Monday. Um, I do apologize for it being a day behind, but I mean, there was Bash of Berlin that happened Saturday, so I think it's pretty fair for an extra day of Style Sunday just to be for it to be pushed back to Monday. First, obviously, we're gonna get started with what I'm wearing. Now, my shirt isn't for WWE, but it is for a wrestler, Kyler Coleman. He is a backyard wrestler. Oh, that's what he started as. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot to talk about, so I will be referring to my notes um, quite a bit because it's going to be really hard to remember exactly what happened even on Bash and Berlin. So first we have raw we am going to talk about judgment day because i believe they started out first um i don't like it they had a lot of really good outfits when rio was there versus now now i feel like the color is gone and it's mostly like a black and gray and like dusty almost whereas rio and damien were there it was more purple. They even included some red in there sometimes. So it was really nice, but now it's just, it's not for me, honestly. Um, next, we're, I'm gonna talk about Rhea and Damien. Um, they looked pretty good together. Rhea was wearing Damien's shirt and Damien was wearing Rhea's shirt, which I thought was pretty cool because they are terror twins and they're trying to represent each other. So by them wearing like, the other person's merch they're bravo they're doing everything the right way and how it should be oh boy the miz so i guess this saturday or this style sunday not saturday but this style sunday i guess is gonna be kind of negative because the miz what are you doing like, honestly, The Miz wears the same outfit with the same jacket every single week. And I get it. That's his thing. That's his gimmick. And that's fine. 100% fine with me. But maybe change it up a little bit. Like, stop wearing the Brick Art or Awesome Truth shirt. Um, stop wearing that big, like, jacket with, like, the strings hanging off of it. Like maybe buy a new jacket maybe wear another merch like i don't know it's just too basic for me and it's been happening week after week after week and i'm bored <laughs> um kofi kingston he had green everything green this green that and he had green shoes so i think his matching was really good there wasn't much to say because it was just all green, but I liked it, it was pretty good. Carrion Cross. Um, he's okay. I don't like him as a character or his stable or his outfits. <laughs> but his speedo on his butt says um, Sin City. I don't like it. It just reminds me of Suplex City. Um, Yeet City, like all these cities, stop it. It was Brock's to begin with, so let's leave it there. Um, so that was it for Raw. Now we're gonna move on to SmackDown. Ludwig. He came out for his uh, match against LA Knight, and he had, um, what is it called? The Red Speedo, and like it was like gold with his um, initials and like the European something I don't know what he is but the red and the gold very very classy it looked really good it looked really like powerful almost for my music fans out there it reminded me of KD3 from Nas his album cover that I'll put here I'll put a comparison um, because it truly reminded me of that but it was good I liked it um, there wasn't too much for SmackDown, only because I didn't get to watch the full thing. Um, and even, I watched up until it was Cody and Kevin Owens. 
and there wasn't a lot of like outfits that stood out to me except for obviously Ludwig and then um I don't know her name but it's Santos's girlfriend girlfriend the girl in the stable I don't know her name but she had white pants and this white top and like the booby area was like all sparkly and it looked really good because it wasn't like too much of anything like she was just wearing like obviously like a suit type of pants but it was white and then her top was just sparkly so it was like a little bit of like elegant with a little bit of sparkle it looked good so for Basha Merlin the ring announcer Samantha Irving she shocked me when I tell you my jaw was on the floor she came out with this I it was a one piece I want to say it was a jumpsuit again but it was like a rose gold sparkliness and she had her hair down and she looked mm, so good loved it it was probably one of my favorite Samantha Irving outfits ever which is a lot um, but it was like the makeup, the hair, the outfit, everything was just screaming Samantha Irving. I don't comment on the referees, but Jessica Carr, she popped out with some blue eye with blue eyeshadow and it looked pretty good. I don't remember what match it was for. I wanna say it was either the Cody and Kevin or um what's that one? Jade Jade Bianca versus Unholy. It was either one of those two. It was pretty early on, um, but it was really good. Like, I didn't expect that from her. Bianca, she came out with these like bubble gem things all over her outfit. And they looked kind of like Orbeez, like some green Orbeez that were just stuck to her. I liked it. It looked pretty cool. It would have been more cool if it was blue. That way it looked like water and not just Orbeez. But, I mean, it was kind of cool. Same thing with Jade. She kind of looked like a green fairy almost. So I did like that they complimented each other like they always do. Um, Alba was pretty nice. Alba and I like did come out matching with like a yin and yang type of thing. It was like black and black and white and it was like obviously half and half that's why i called it the yin and yang um alba came out with a two set and she had these like baggy like cargo pants almost i liked it um i think it matched her a lot and it matched her top that she was wearing i don't remember exactly what the top looked like but i know that it went together from Isla this week was her fishnet shorts so she had um like white and black fishnets and then she had these shorts that were really cool um obviously the picture's gonna be here for dominic and Liv. Liv, she came out with a custom made leather jacket i think it is but it was really cool it had like Liv's always on top her or flips finally on top um that logo on the back it said like live plus dom or something and there's a lot of like obviously dom, dom related things on it so i like that it fit her gimmick for this role right now which i liked same thing with dominic his little um jacket vest thing that he always comes in wearing kind of like the purple cow print one instead of saying dirty dom and now says daddy dom which is fine because again it matches his gimmick for right now but it's so sad for Rhea. Um, Rhea came out lovely, star, eyes stopping, jaw dropping. Loved everything about that outfit. Um, she had Terra twins on her booty. One said Terra, the other one said twins. It was great. The, um, her and Damien were matching kind of with the purple and the red. Like I said before, they're trying to incorporate more red, I feel, to get like a fiery smokiness as were judgment days the ashes but that is all for style sunday this week monday uh i hope you guys enjoyed i am so sorry i didn't be able to i wasn't able to watch all of smackdown and that this came out a little bit late but 
I hope you guys still enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment down below. I will be responding. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for next Style Sunday next week. Bye guys. Peace.